what's up it's sarah and today we're up in the snowy mountains just outside of las vegas about to tour this beautiful estate it was custom built in 2021 has five bedrooms five bathrooms and 5872 square feet of living space the modern design of the interior is completely different from the other homes you'll find up here that have more of an earthy rustic cabin feel before we start the tour, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you love luxury home tours. And if you have any questions about this property or are looking to buy or sell real estate, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is below. So this home is located up in Mount Charleston. It's only a 45 minute drive west from the Las Vegas Strip. And the Lee Canyon Ski Resort is only a half an hour drive away, which happens to be the only ski resort in Southern Nevada. I mean, this is such a great location, and if you wanted to build your own custom home up here, there's a vacant plot of land for sale that I'll link down below. So this is only one of four homes in an exclusive community with no HOA fee. It's a short distance to walking trails and the Mount Charleston Lodge. The rich brown exterior of the home just blends seamlessly into all the natural surroundings. And I really like the stacked stone throughout the property and the horizontal sidings with the clean white lines. The metal roof has a sleek arch design and the windows completely wrap around giving you panoramic views. The driveway to the two car garage is tucked over on the left side of the house and then you have this elevated landscaping on the front and side of the property. So I'm freezing, my cameraman doesn't have a jacket on, so let's head inside and start the tour. All right, we're here in the entryway. We've got these French doors that welcome you into this open floor plan, and you actually enter in on the second level because this is a tri-level home. So there's stairs leading up to the third floor right here, and then another set of stairs leading to the lower level. The first thing you notice when you walk in is all this natural light coming in from these gigantic windows. We're at about 7,700 feet of elevation, so the view just goes on for miles. And if you look up, you can see that these ceilings are crazy high, like probably more than 30 feet. And they give this room such a spacious and open feel, but good luck dusting those fan blades. So over here we have the formal living room. This floor to ceiling fireplace is just the center of attention. It warms the room right up and makes such a large space feel super cozy. Then over here we have the sliding glass doors that lead to a Juliet balcony. Gorgeous views of all of the winter snow. It'd also be great to crack open these doors in the summer when you've come up here to escape the summer heat. So across from the living room is the formal dining area. It has seating for at least six people and additional bar seating at the island. It's such a great size and has these white quartz waterfall countertops, a built-in prep sink, and a contemporary light fixture hanging up above. Behind me is the Thermador stainless steel refrigerator. Then we have the microwave and the ovens. There's also this stainless steel Thermador stove cooktop with a pot filler. And then right here is the second sink that has a view so you can look at the view while you're doing the dishes. And of course the dishwasher down here that you can use if you don't wanna do the dishes. So in addition to all of these cabinets, there's more built into the island and then up above the appliances. And I just love the contrast between the dark brown exterior of the home and then how light and bright it is in here with the white kitchen. The black and brown colors from the fireplace and the stairs really tie the whole place together. So right off the kitchen is the walk-in pantry. It has some built-in shelving, cabinets and drawers, plenty of space to put all of your food. And then across the way, we have the first of five bedrooms. So the bathroom is off to the left and then the walk-in closet's on the right. It has some built-in shelving and drawers. In the bedroom, there's a coffered ceiling and a sliding glass door that leads to an outdoor balcony with some outdoor seating. And then these three windows that face east so you can see the beautiful sunrise and the sun peeking through the trees in the morning. This room has a full-size bed, but definitely enough room if you wanted to add something larger like a queen or king-size bed. A dresser over here and enough room if you wanted to add a little seating area 
really great size room. So let's go over here and check out the bathroom. In here we have the shower with a tub and a rainfall shower head, two sinks and some stone taupe countertops, and this really nice warm lighting. So now let's head back out to the main living area and check out the other side of the house. So directly across from where we just were, there's this large coat closet that can fit at least 600 winter coats. And then down this hallway is the guest bathroom. It has a walk-in shower with a rainfall shower head and the really cool tiling that trails from the shower to behind the toilet. And then there's this copper colored glass bowl sink. At the end of the hallway is a little reading nook. There's a chair sitting right underneath the window and it's across from the second bedroom. This bedroom also has a walk-in closet and a couple of big beautiful trees that grow right outside the window. These windows actually open so you can listen to the birds chirping. It'd be super cute to hang a hummingbird feeder out here and bird watch or just enjoy the mountain views that completely surround the property. So that's it for the main level. Now let's head upstairs and check out the third floor. The views in this home extend even up to the staircase that overlooks the front of the property where you can see more mountains and greenery. Here we are up on the third floor. We have a loft with a seating area that gives you an even better look out onto the mountains and the trees. And you're overlooking the main living and dining area and the design of the railing gives that really open feel that keeps the light flowing throughout. As you can tell by now, this house is very linear. So all the bedrooms are either off on the north or south sides. So let's head this way and check out the primary bedroom. Right when you walk in, you have this walk-in closet that's pretty deep with tons of drawers and shelves. Then the bathroom off to your left with a king bed situated facing the landscape, another coffer ceiling, and these sliding glass doors leading to a balcony with some outdoor seating and some stacked stone accents. Now let's head this way and go check out the master bath. In here, there's two sinks and these really cool oval light up mirrors and these white stone countertops that continue up onto the wall and onto the bathtub. This would be such a great tub to soak in after a long day of skiing or playing in the snow. And the window is nicely elevated to give you some privacy when you're in the bathtub. And the shower has five different shower heads and this really cool white textured wall. And to finish off the bathroom, behind this door you have a separate area for the water closet. Heading back into the loft area, directly across from the primary bedroom is the fourth bedroom. It's complete with another walk-in closet behind me and a bathroom with the same finishes as the one we saw downstairs. This is another great size bedroom with windows that wrap around, giving you a view of the greenery and the snowy day. That's it for this level, but we're not done yet. There's a whole other floor for you guys to see. So let's head back downstairs and I'll show you the rest of the house. All right, so here we are back at the entryway and we're gonna take these stairs down to the lower level and check out my favorite part of the house. Off the stairs is the laundry room. It has white cabinets that match the kitchen, a sink, and then a rack to hang some of your clothes on. And then across the way, underneath the staircase, is a storage closet, so you can keep your cleaning supplies, skis, snowboards, pretty much all of your winter gear. So walking this way is the family room. There's a fireplace with this nice stacked gray stone and some built-in shelves on either side. There's tons of room for seating family and friends in here. And if you wanted to turn this into a game room, a theater or a home gym, you definitely could. The cool thing I wanted to point out is from the front of the house, it just looks like a two story home. But when you look at it from the back, you can see this lower level that leads out to the patio. You can't see any of the patio because of the record snowfall they've had this year. This is probably the most snow I've seen in my whole entire life. But in the summers, you could put a barbecue, a fire pit to make s'mores, or even a hot tub out here. This house is perfect for entertaining because over here we have the kitchenette. It's got pendant lighting, dual level island with black marble, a mini fridge, microwave under there, this really cool black mirror backsplash, a sink, and a dishwasher. 
Right off this kitchenette is the fifth and final bedroom. It's being used as a home office right now, but if you had guests stay with you, they'd have everything they need down here. There's a closet, bathroom, and across the hall is access to the two-car garage that they could use as an entrance. If you want a mountain retreat with a modern luxury feel that's just a quick drive outside of Las Vegas, this is the place for you. Let me know what you think of this home down below in the comments and leave any suggestions for what I should tour next. As always, feel free to contact me with all of your real estate needs and I'll see you in the next video.